Swimming World Television, joined by Ben Shepard. Ben, it's been a year since we talked last time, and uh, I wanted to know if there's any updates with the, uh, the program that you put together. As a matter of fact, uh, last year was just coming off the Olympics, mm -hmm. and so the it's been a tremendous uh, outpouring of new swimmers. You know, we've grown tremendously in terms of our numbers at the at the low levels, and it's kind of been an exciting time. You know, our kids have really, with with your work and with the internet, you know, all the Facebook fan pages and all the new ways that young kids can kind of get excited about the sport. We've seen a, a tremendous growth in our program just in terms of numbers as well as enthusiasm. That's a good thing. When you come here to a, a convention like ASCO, what kind of things are you trying to take away from some of these talks, or is some of the learning going on maybe at, at at the bar after the talks, what, where are you getting your information and what kind of information are you looking for? Well, I don't go to the bar, but other than that... Um, of course not. Sorry, I didn't mean to insult you. Um, it's not an insult. Basically, from the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, I feel like I'm absorbing infinite amounts of knowledge and just the opportunity to interact with some of these people, uh, some of these people being the who's who, obviously, of the sport. You know, some of the legends of the sport will sit down and talk to you and you just feel like uh, your confidence develops just to know that you're in the same company as these type of people. And you hear some of the things that maybe you're already doing and the Olympic head coaches are speaking about these methods and you're saying, hey, this is what we're doing with our 10-year-olds. Obviously, that re reinforces as well as just new ideas. You know, Rich Thornton just gave a great talk talking about neural training and just different, different methods and concepts that are, you know, kind of in the air. It's really, it's invigorating and inspiring, you know, just to hear all the talk, and especially in this environment, we don't have kids, there's not a swim meet going on, so we really get a chance to just be social and hang out and have the conversations about theory, team, the business, you know, learn about each other personally, so it's a really enriched environment like that. Are you focusing on some of more developmental talks? Because a lot of these coaches are college, college age coaches, and are, are there ideas that you can take from that level and kind of I mean, bring swimming, them down? Swimming, and, you know, yeah. in some ways. So, obviously, you know, when you're talking about strength training for college swimmers, that's not going to help me with my swim school. But I think that there's something you can take from everybody. And a lot of these guys that are getting a chance to talk, you know, the the real the real nuggets that I'm taking away aren't even about their methods. It's more about the way they view life, the way they view their profession, the way they view uh, our responsibility as coaches and our role in society. And that's kind of the wisdom, that's the real wisdom, you know. You listen to Eddie Rees, and yeah, he's talking about at what age should a swimmer do this dry land or that dry land, but really what you take away is the, the wisdom. You know, nothing to do with the sport, more to do with how, how to live and how to appreciate life. And, do you have any nuggets that you can share with us that you've taken away from this weekend? Well, the one that stuck with me yesterday, you know, he ended his talk by saying, Eddie Reese ended his talk by saying that, you know, you don't, you don't take anything. What you take with you when you pass from this world is what you've given other people. And I heard that and I was like, that's, you know, that makes me want to cry almost because it really does remind you that your job as a coach is to help people. And we're more like, uh, in Greg Troy, you know, again, um, was talking to me just on the side, and he said, and "This is a, this is it's kind of like part social work, you know, in the sense that we're here to really work with children and their families and really help them develop as people." And that, to me, is why I do it and why I love it. I mean, I love swimming, and I'm a swim nerd, and I want to know the latest technique and the sets that the guys are using in different dry lands that people are incorporating. Yeah. And all that is totally interesting. But the other side of it that really inspires me, that really makes me feel good, is the part that. It really is about people, you know, meeting people, knowing people, your peers, as well as obviously the kids. Yeah, it's great stuff. Ben, uh, any other things that stand out? Any stories from this weekend? Any speakers that you kind of walked out and you're like, wow, I didn't realize that he was like that, or I didn't realize she was like that. Did you? Any other stories from this weekend that you care to share? Do you ever feel like any of the coaches are guarded? Like they don't want to give away too much? Maybe the Australian coaches. <laughs> No offense, but uh, sometimes yeah. I do, especially yeah. the foreign coaches, and I don't mean that in any disrespect, and I, I wouldn't blame them. Yeah. You know, I think that that's fair. Yeah. You know, it is a competition. It is a competitive sport. You know? But you really think that they can take, you can take the genius of the Australian coaches if they tell you how they train these guys? I mean, I don't think one talk could give away the genius of a coach, do you? No, absolutely no matter, not. No matter how open they were. 
and yet it's again when it comes to coaching um, it's not your methods that's your genius even no matter how genius your methods may be the true genius lies in who you are as a person and how you deal with people and how you relate and how you inspire others and that you do take that away from the coaches, even the Australian coaches. I mean, you can just tell in his voice, his passion, his conviction, his clarity of purpose, and that is that is genius in a way. Great stuff, Ben. Swimming World Television coming to you from ASCA 2009. Awesome. Thanks, buddy.